back everybody to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stephanie. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the Amazon Prime exclusive, My Spy. Now, granted, yes, it was originally supposed to come out in theaters, but given everything going on, it went straight to Amazon Prime. If you had Prime, you can watch it for free. If not, sorry, you got to pay for it. But before we dive into our spoiler review of this, don't forget to uh, engage with this by letting us know what you guys thought about the movie, what you thought about our review, any comments you have, if you like it or don't like us. If you don't like it, let us know. Like and subscribe. Also, like, subscribe. And without further ado, My Spy. Alright, so My Spy, of course, stars Dave Bautista. Who continues his transformation from? It's not even his name, man. Whatever. It is what it is. Say his name in the way you want to say it. It's Batista. Batista, Batista, Batista. It, no, no, it's name. Batista. Simply because right. I'm a wrestling fan. But whatever. No, I wasn't a wrestling fan. No. Yes, I was. But continue. Until he, until his era was over. Yeah, yeah, continue. Anyway, like I said, continues his uh, game in uh, the movie realm. Of course, he starred in Marvel's big uh, films. We all know him as Drax, which he plays very well. But now he's taking on another role. In my opinion, following along the lines of uh, Vin Diesel, with uh, going into the kids' genre, along with The Rock as well, both of them. You know, uh, Pacifier, Two Fairy. Yeah. Pacifier. Uh, he, I guess you must not have seen the past fire. It's kind of similar to this in a way. No, I was just only saying that because man, he's doing it I mean, that's what this relates to in a way of past fire from being an agent, a spy, or whatever, then being on the role of spying and watching the adolescents to keep an eye on what's going on to see if the relative contacts them for whatever. See, you don't see the relation? Same thing happened in uh Never seen it, but I don't care. I don't care for Vin Diesel. But yeah, I, I don't care for Vin Diesel. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So my spot to me was kind of humorous, funny. Be cautious of the language. Yes, it's PG thirteen, but there is a little bit of foul language in there. If you're gonna have little little kids watching, you might want to be cautious about it. And if not, very very funny comical movie. The little girl made the show, if you ask me. Without her, this would be bad. You really think so? Yes. She made it she made it more comical. I think Bobby made it more comical as well. <laughs> because I feel like everybody has that one partner who's either over the top hype or not hype at all. And she was like clueless and hype. And she to me I'm not gonna say she made it, but she made like there's parts of the movie that she made it just as well. Oh yeah, she uh, was definitely entertaining, even though I'm kind of questioning her spying skills. Yeah, she's like, not a spy, she's a tech. Even techs go through basic training of gun control and handling the gun, loading bullets into a gun. That's also true. <laughs> I was like, how are you dropping bullets? If your life depended on this right now. Not even dropping bullets. How are you putting yeah. it in the clip in the wrong way? Yeah. Then the gun falls, unlocked, and just go starts going off. I'm like, that could have been epic disaster for everyone. It could have. Luckily, it helped create a diversion that was needed. But let's get on the get-go. Like, really? Y'all deceived me that much. I did not see that one coming. It was called the Genjutsu. I did not. That was a funny twist. That was a I funny really twist. I really did not see that coming. That, that was, was a good job twist. by uh, the writers on that one. That was awesome. Twist. Having them actually be independent contracting spies that were playing the long game, as they say. And end up almost getting away other. with it too. Yeah, end up liking each other during mm-hmm. that process, which is funny. Yeah, everything. I, I really would say, as a whole, the movie had its family-oriented drama, uh, motions and drama. And again, the broken family keeps wearing its ugly head on our ser- on our channel. <laughs> now, granted, yes, the father was around initially. But not in the movie. Yeah. They alluded to him being around before he was killed, or died, whatever you want to say. Mm-hmm. But still, broken family. Let's and talk about 
Dave Batista. I love Dave as a rush. But uh, why do Dave they have Batista. that man doing the whip, the name day? <laughs> Listen. I mean, it made more hilarious moments. That was the stiffest whip a nene I've ever seen. I mean, when you take steroids, can you really move your arms but so much? Bruh, yeah. it was... I can't lift my arm I mean, I'm not going to say much. that man was on steroids. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm just being sarcastic. But, yeah. Because uh, uh, they did say that the movie made sarcastic. Oh, uh, well, yeah. But, well, yeah. Uh, wow. Just wow. Like, that was the stiffest... Whipping name they've ever seen, and it was hilarious. And they make what we should do it. It got a million views. No, I'm, I'm not, I, mean, no. I already okay. embarrassed myself in the way. You, you remember that tape? There's tape out there. Oh, yeah, we're going to upload that tape too. No, no. So, okay, I'm going to upload that tape. But All anyway. Right. It was funny, yeah. It was a funny movie. Had some action moments, but I like the fireworks moment where he's trying to train her. It was, that part was kind of hilarious because I didn't expect that part to actually happen. Yeah, so we basically, during the entire movie, if you got the whole premise of the entire movie, they go on a mission. Well, first of all, his first mission, or the mission that we seen, he basically and kills everybody, destroys the intelligence that they're needing. So they basically say, this is your last, mission, your last well, chance. He killed everybody but one person. Yeah, one person, and that and person got away. But they they basically had him on basically like duty to watch as he stayed there to see if anybody if the guy was gonna get in contact with him. And the little girl finds out that oh yeah, my I'm being watched. So she makes a deal with him and pretty much makes him teach her basic spy things essentially. About lying and, and, and looking cool and as they said, badass <laughs> doing what you're gonna um, and then he had him teaching like the her one-liners and stuff like that when she killed people or what stuff like that. Yeah, that was funny. Um, Weird. But yeah, and then like the one scene where, as you said, they alluded to the fireworks. They're walking, and he says, "Whatever you do, just don't look back." And she's just staring around, and you got to turn her head around. And, and it was basically like them trying to act like they were walking away from explosion. Yeah. All cool and all shady and so on. And then they actually did it at the end. And that she, part was hilarious. She still turned around and looked at it. Because it didn't go off. I'm like, really? All this fire around this gas and it's not blowing up? The like, gas really? did not much And he just happens to have a grenade on him. Just, yeah. just to toss and uh, explode. While his mom is running away. Which is... She's been fighting a lot more lately. Which is good to see for her, but I feel bad for Dave because that elevator scene with her. Uh, right, she destroyed that man's nuts. In that scene. Mm. Every man in the world probably felt that just then and there. She did. I mean, that was that was painful to watch. Seriously. Um, yeah. It was a very good movie uh, as far as like a kids movie. Dave is stepping up his game as far as I mean, I didn't see Stuber. I didn't see Stuber. Yeah, I heard it was hilarious. Was hilarious. But I, 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 I'm going to watch it. You have to watch it. You but, might uh, do a, a late review on that. I day. think it's like what? This is his what? His third role? Uh, I'm it's what, probably been more uh, I think maybe four or five roles now. Um, his and, biggest roles though, of course, were as Drax. Yeah. But uh, he's making, he's one of the other WWE superstars who was uh, transitioning to Hollywood very, very, very seamlessly. Starting very well. I mean, yeah. him, John Cena, and The Rock. John Cena. Been, yes, yes. John Cena has made his own role. I don't like his movies that he played. That now, I'm not saying that he didn't. I don't like the movies that he's been. In. All right. So, did you watch Blockers? That's not part of this, but did you watch Blockers? Blockers. No. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll discuss that later, guys. He hasn't seen Blockers, so I was. Maybe I had. When was this movie? Came out? Blockers came out in. 2018. Probably have. I just got short-term memories sometimes. Possibly, yeah. Okay, we'll discuss that. We'll later. talk about it. But yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, they've all made the transition. I mean, he look. made the transition, but I feel like it's not as successful as the other two. And you do know he's also in the Fast and Furious franchise now, too. So <sighs> he get back off the rock, I see. No, I mean, see, him and the rock, I think, had a relationship. 
where they both want to be. Well, Hugh Jackson wanted to be the Rock and what, and that's you how WWE tried to put it to. Mm-hmm. But I mean, hey, it worked out for him in a way. Anyway, back to this. Batista, had, Dave has had a great career so far. He's transitioning more so into the comical role, if you ask me. Not just trying to be an action person. I want to see him more in a serious role next, honestly. I want to see how he does with a serious role. I mean, some people that you can't just take serious. You just can't take serious. I mean, he has the demeanor to play a serious role. It's just how well will he act in a serious role. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you hopefully... Guys think so? Hopefully he could, but I mean, it, it, it has to be the, a perfect role for him. It has to fit him. Like, for example, um, I wasn't talking about no heart. I'm not going to divulge to it, but have you seen Mr. Brooks? Yes. Yeah, that was a long time ago, so I can't okay. Do you? Okay, but you know who Dane Cook was. Yeah. Do you take Dane Cook seriously? No, for most things, no. My point is that. I mean, that's just like saying, um... Ryan Reynolds at one point. I would have never took him seriously until he played a few movies. So I'm sorry. So was he in that show? How dare you? Never. Who was in that show? That that's presents. Oh, I see. They 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 were. They were anyway, so <laughs> but, let us you guys know. Let us what you. Yeah, that's getting edited. Let us know what you guys thought about the movie in the comments below. If you're going to watch it, please let us know what you thought at the end of it. If you like our uh, reviews of it, don't forget to like us, subscribe, and uh, give us something else that you might think that we should review. Let us know.